What's up, everybody? It's Whiskey in the Six. I'm Rob. Going to do a quick review of this Highland Park Valfather. Um, maybe field some questions about it in this live. So uh, if you don't want to watch the entire thing and you're watching it after the fact, I will put um, time stamps at the bottom so that you guys know exactly when I will be marking this thing so you can skip forward listen to the mark listen to the review and then um shut it off if you don't want to participate in the entire video what's going on kids are quiet right now actually uh, my, my daughter is napping son is playing video games so um, hopefully we don't have another episode like we did the last time hope you guys are doing well so, oh, I spoke too soon. Yeah, you got to go back, buddy. What's going on, Jason? How are you? Dad, it's, it's a letter game. Okay, just press back. There. I don't know. Hold on. Start over. All right. Um, so Valfather is the third part of the trilogy. This was gifted to me by Laura. Uh, so thank you, Laura. Uh, third part of the trilogy, uh, tri trilogy um, Valkyrie, Volknut, and now uh, Valfather. Bobby's saying, can't make any plans when kids are around. It is what it is. Yeah, exactly. Um, honestly, I find that like the days have been very strange because I, although we're home quarantined or whatever else um we don't really get to do much of what we want to do because obviously we have kids um so it's very difficult for me to go live in the evening it's well we're tired by that point because we spent the whole day um just trying to keep the kids busy basically in the house which is somehow tiring as well i don't know chad how are you my friend <clears throat> Go have saying, oh my God, it's Jason Whiskey Wise. Yeah. What's going on, buddy? Uh, Chad, how are you? All right. So again, this is the third part. I just got to get something out of here. So this one's a little bit more peated from what I remember than the other two. Uh, so far... The Valk, the Valk nut was my favorite, but um, I've only gone at this a couple times. I was invited to a tasting by Cameron Miller, who's the Canadian ambassador for Highland Park, and uh, got to try it for the first time then. And then uh, Laura sent me this bottle. Dramtastic. What's up, Rob? Been wanting to try one uh, this one. Yeah. Um, so it's much more peated than your typical Highland Park, in my opinion. As far as casks used for it, <clears throat> hard to tell. I think it's a mix of bourbon and um, seasoned sherry casks. But I can't find that. I'm going to stick with that. Bourbon and seasoned sherry. Also impossible to know how old this one is, but it's about 100 bucks at the LCBO. So I've uh, tried the other. Jason uh, Whiskey Wise is asking, do I have the others in the series? I went through a bottle of Vulcan nut pretty quickly. Uh, Valkyrie, I only got to try and never actually reviewed it. Um, Vulcan nut, I really enjoyed. I liked it better than the Valkyrie. Uh, I think I like it better than this one too, to be honest with you. So like I said, the nose is pretty peated. There's some like apple notes and some like darker fruit notes as well. Sweet like honey notes, smoked honey.
Okay, uh, 47% uncho filter, no added color on the palette. It's one of the ones from Highland Park that you wouldn't immediately say this is Highland Park by tasting it, which is kind of cool. But if you're a big Highland Park fan looking for that Highland Park taste, this is not one of the ones that you're going to get that from. It's a little more peated. <clears throat> Tastes a little bit like a Talisker, to be honest with you, which is interesting. Also get that like smoked honey on the palate. Some apples definitely there. Maybe a bit of like a, a bit of like a coconut note, like a smoked coconut type note. DJ Beacons in the house, he says, is that Val, I am your father? <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, uh, Jason Whiskey Wise is saying he's lost track of all the HP releases. There's a lot of them. There is a lot of special releases from Highland Park. Um, some of them great, some of them not so great. This is good. I like this. This is, um, like I said, just south of $100 at the LCBO. Probably you can find it for the $80 range in Alberta. Um, probably like $70 range in the U S this is good stuff though. I'm going to give it one more sip. I'm going to give it a mark. Mash and drum in the house. What's going on, buddy? Yeah. Nice sweetness. Good creaminess to it. Definitely get, um, more smoke more peat than you would from the average Highland Park. It's good though. Nice. Finish is nice. Finish lasts quite a bit. Uh, I think that has to do with the amount of peat that they use in this. Get a nice like coffee note on the back end, nice espresso note. Um, some like campfire smoke on the back end as well. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to say this is probably an 86. Uh, good stuff. Great price, I think. Definitely worth the price range that it's listed at. Obviously, if it was a little bit cheaper, um, that would be awesome. Obviously, if it had an age statement, that would be awesome. Uh, neither of those things apply here, unfortunately. But I would say that this is probably still in and around 10 to 11 years old. Um, maybe eight to 11 years old. Impossible to tell, obviously, but um, a lot of these no age statements have older whiskey as well as younger whiskey in them. So I'm going to say that this is probably in and around the 10 year old average. Good stuff all around. Um, it's a bit more expensive than the standard 10 year old than the standard 12 year old. And the reason for that is the ABV, I think. Um, also, it's very different than the standard releases from Highland Park. I don't think you can tell that this is a Highland Park unless you've tried it before. But overall, pretty good. All right. How's everybody doing? Hope you guys are doing well. Not going to stick around too long here. I'm going to maybe stick around for another five minutes or so. <clears throat> Anybody else pour something already or they're waiting till it gets a little later to pour something? Jason has been working nonstop, which is why he hasn't produced any videos lately. What's, um, oh, thanks Jason. I appreciate it, buddy. Saying that he loves the kickboxing stuff. Uh, my wife and I will very likely do another video tomorrow. If we can fit one in tonight, maybe I can convince her to do one tonight. Um, 
things are shutting down over here and we're starting to get like, it seems like every day news gets a little bit worse and that's kind of what we expected. News is going to get worse and worse and worse until it reaches that breaking point and then finally starts to get better. Um, but a lot of people getting laid off in, in Ontario, a lot of people, uh, obviously concerned for financial things. Um, what I recently did on Patreon is I sent out a note to everybody that's all my Patreons, basically saying um, I won't be char I won't be posting uh, or charging for posts. I'll still probably put my videos up there, but I won't be charging for posts um, during this time until everybody's back on their feet and um, everybody's able to have a little bit of extra scratch themselves. I don't want to during this time. I feel like it would be hard to justify charging for posts on Patreon. So um, I know we're not quite there yet, but I am I do feel that harder times might be coming. So I don't want to charge anybody for Patreon posts at the moment. Um, but if you are one of my Patreons, I really appreciate you being there. And uh, hopefully when we're on the other end of this, uh, we can still organize that get together in Ontario, in Toronto. Um, but we'll see. We shall see. Eric waits in the house. He's saying I'll be drinking iron root, uh, harbinger tonight. Wow. Um, Eric wait just dropped an enormous super chat. Uh, wow. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate that. Thank you very, very much. Uh, guys, honestly, um, wow, Eric, thank you. Really appreciate that, buddy. Like I was saying, uh, I won't be charging anybody for Patreon and I don't uh, expect anybody to drop uh, Super Chats during this time. Really, really appreciate that Super Chat, Eric. Uh, but like I said, not expected at all. Not that it ever was, but um, I, I really appreciate that. Thank you very much, buddy. <clears throat> Day five, no humans in sight. Uh, starting to become friends with a ball. Wilson, he's... <laughs> <laughs> D.A. Sills is in the house. Um, Tom Hanks, how's he doing anyway? I know that he tested positive for COVID, so hopefully he's okay. Um, has anybody been in, like directly affected so far by COVID? Do you know someone close to you that has been affected by it? I hope you guys are all staying safe. I hope you guys are all staying healthy. Um Especially if you have some sort of compromised immunity, uh, I hope you guys are uh, in a safe spot and you're not forced to go to work and, or you don't need to go to work, I hope, for your sake. Uh, Eric Wade said, unfortunately, my career is advanced by war, crime, and the, the poop hitting the fan. So I am fine financially. Um, well, I appreciate that, uh, Eric. I appreciate you um, doing that super chat. Not expected, but like I said, much appreciated. Um, <clears throat> uh, the Mash and Drum said, I'm looking forward to, to getting up there again. Yeah, I, honestly, I can't wait till we can all meet up. Like Jeremy and I have still uh, been going back and forth as to what we plan to do uh, when we can meet up again. And it's not that we don't want to meet up. It's just, we want to respect the wishes of the government. Of course, like they're asking us not to get together. They're asking us not to help spread this virus. I haven't seen my parents in person in over a week, which is out of the norm for me. And I only expect that to be uh, even longer in the next coming days. My brothers as well. Uh, my nieces and nephews, of course. So um, Jeremy and I do plan on putting a podcast together, but when we do that, we want to do that in person and we want to do it to the best of our ability. So um, we're going to wait till this is all said and done, hopefully. <laughs> Go Habs, open three bottles this week. What did you open, buddy? Let us know. Um, Eric recently got the Ardbeg Black. <laughs> Um, how is it, Eric? I didn't get a chance to watch any reviews on it. I'm hoping to watch some maybe tonight. Uh, if you've posted, Eric, if you posted some reviews on the black, 
uh, put it in the chat here so that these guys can access that. Um, I may start a charity for the whiskey tubers out of work. That, honestly, that's very generous of you, Eric. Uh, Go Habs is saying, your parents don't live upstairs. I thought you were Italian. <laughs> I, my parents live about uh, 20 minutes away from me. Uh, drive, so yeah. They live in the hood, back back in the hood in, in Rexdale. <laughs> yeah, uh, most of a lot of Italians live in their parents' basement or, uh, you know, but unfortunately, I'm not one of them. I wouldn't mind some of my mom's uh, home cooking these days, though, but my wife's been doing an awesome job. She's My wife is a killer cook. Like, when she puts her mind to it, she made... In the last three days, she made a vegan pa uh, pad thai. She made uh, a pasta that was like out of this world. It was like an avocado pesto, so uh, vegan style again. And then the day before that, it was a vegan chili. Honestly, like, so I decided to uh, give up meat and sweets for Lent. Uh, if you're a Christian, you probably know what that is. Um, and... I haven't even realized it because my wife's been cooking some awesome vegan dishes. <clears throat> so Eric uh, is saying, I have not opened the Arbeg Black yet. I have two bottles. We'll open one this weekend. Uh, my review will uh, post April 1st. No fooling to kick off an Isla Marathon. Awesome, man. Looking forward to it. So YouTube is my last resort says our friends in Italy have been affected. Uh, this is a crazy situation. I haven't seen anyone from my family in quite some time, but they tell me they are raiding my collections or my collection. So I might be going soon. <laughs> yeah. Um, Italy for whatever. Well, <coughs> there's a lot of speculation as to why Italy um, it seems to be affected the hardest by this virus um so i'm not gonna speculate i have no idea i'm not a doctor i have no clue whatsoever i have my theories but obviously they mean nothing because like i said i'm not qualified to um put out my reasons but i just wish them best the best and um hopefully everybody recovers soon because it's pretty terrible what's happening there and the death rate is pretty staggering in italy so uh, hopefully they all get better soon Catherine Bono in the house. What's going on, Catherine? Um, yeah, it doesn't seem like the Arbeg Black has hit too many shelves yet, and I don't know how many shelves will be getting it in the next little while because of what's going on. I was hoping to get the new Long Row 13 um, Chilean Cabernet Sauvignon, but I would assume that that's going to be on delay. Uh, although... A lot of the liquor stores are still going strong, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, Eric White saying, I may need to drink more Italian wine to support Italy. Yeah, uh, I have some nice ones, actually. <laughs> I think <laughs> uh, we'll be drinking a little bit more these days as a collective uh, household for sure here. <laughs> I don't know about the rest of you guys, but – or at least until the funds – Last. <laughs> Bobby's saying liquor stores close for the future after today here in NL. NL. Which state is NL? No. No, no that's not Nevada. Help me out here, Bobby. <laughs> Oh, Newfoundland. Bobby's from Newfoundland. That's not a state. That's a province. <laughs> I should know that probably. I think Bobby might be my first uh, Newfoundlander. My sister-in-law is from Newfoundland. Well, she's not directly from Newfoundland. Her parents are. <clears> T.A. <throat> Silva saying... 
Okay. If you drink through your whiskey collection before this is over, the world will have already ended anyway. That's a good point. <laughs> I have enough whiskey to go for some time. <clears throat> Eric Waite saying, I heart Barolo. Yeah, I like Barolo. I like Barbarescos as well. But I, I don't know. I, I'm always drawn back to Primitivos and Zinfandels, like California Zins and Italian uh, Primitivos, which are, I guess, from made from the same grape, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but both awesome. <clears throat> Dennis is saying uh, Newfoundland Labrador is NL. Yeah. All right. Go Habs is coming over now. Uh, is coming over. I, I think. Is he talking about my house or? <clears throat> McCallum Fine Rare is saying the standard black was supposed to be sold on Ardbeg Day during um, their festival thingy. Um, all canceled, not going, unfortunately. Yeah. So I saw a um, Scotland post today saying uh, don't cancel, just postpone. Uh, basically, I think that's what the world is doing right now, right? Like we're, we're not canceling anything, but. We're postponing so life is not canceled it's just postponed and it seems like uh if we all do that then we have at least that promise that things will resume back to normal um scott rance is saying tasting notes on the val father uh basically like smoked honey apple um campfire like finish a little bit of like an espresso note in there um, there's a lot of sweetness, more smoke than I'm used to from Highland Park for sure. P Boss in the house is saying, "What's up, everyone? What's going on, P Boss? Hope you're doing well, buddy." Whiskey lover is saying, "I'm here in Newfoundland, also uh, enjoying Lafroy 10. Nice. All right, so we got a few Newfoundlanders in the in the chat today. Nice, nice to have you guys. I had to postpone my hair implants." <laughs> <laughs> I'll loan you some if you want. <laughs> Things are going to get a little dicey over here without being able to go to the barber. Um, Chad is saying, I've been participating or I've been practicing social distancing for years. Not much change for me. <laughs> nice. McCallum finally is saying, Where? To Eric. So I'm not included there. Scott is saying tasty GM. What are you guys drinking? Anybody drinking anything right now? Go Habs is saying I am growing a COVID-19 beard. As long as you guys stay healthy, do whatever you like in the comfort of your own home. Jason is saying still working, sadly. Wish I was drinking. So what's like work situations for you guys as a teacher, obviously I'm home, the kids are home, so I don't have much of a choice, but to be home. Um, I'm wondering if they're going to let us go back to at least uh, earn a paycheck and then maybe we can stream from our classrooms or something like that. Uh, but I still think that that would cause issues because a lot of um, families have two teachers and where do the kids kind of go? I guess if they can, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to all sort itself out. Someone needs to come up with a cure for this thing and it doesn't look like it's going to be anytime soon. So go ahead and saying school board is making me work from home. Well, at least you have that option. Um, go Habs, Cause a lot of, from what I hear in Quebec, a lot of teachers don't have that option. So that's kind of sad. It's kind of scary. Um, YouTube is my last resort. It said open the standard bottle of Altmore 12, which is pretty good. Yeah, I have it as well. It's actually pretty good. Dennis is drinking Weller 107. Uh, McCallum Fine is drinking Pepsi. Scott Rance is drinking 
Lago Bullen 16. Uh, he can't get enough of it. Um, Bobby says he's a paramedic. Uh, go back on shift on Monday, so we will see how it goes. Good luck, buddy. Uh, all the power to you, man. You guys are honestly the real heroes of modern day society. Catherine Bono says, I'm drinking a barrel aged gin. Been making my way through the world of gin. Very nice. Um, I haven't delved too much into gin. I only really use gin for cocktails, but I guess I have nothing but time to explore these types of things. So maybe I will go have a sing. All education employees are still getting paid in Quebec. Uh, what about Ontario? For now, we are. I don't know how long that could possibly last. Uh, my theory originally was that what they would do is if this goes for two months, technically we get we get our 194 days of work uh, spread across 12 months anyway. So we would work July and August and continue to like this would be our summer vacation technically coming up um not that anybody wants to spend their vacation doing this but it's better to make money than not to make money so i don't know i honestly don't know but i think this is going to change the way people spend money moving forward i think because it's letting people realize how fragile their um income actually is so yeah I don't know. We'll see. Whiskey Lover is saying, uh, Scott Rance Lagavulin in 16 is awesome. Chad is saying, drinking Coors Light, trying to hydrate. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. That's like 90, what, 6% water. Catherine Bono saying, there are some good craft gins that have a good flavor on their own. And, and not just the mixer. No, I believe that for sure. I just, I'm ignorant as far as like what kind of gins to look for just because it's not really something I've explored yet. YouTube is my last resort saying, my office officially closed today, but all construction work is still going. So I'm out there. Yeah. All the guys are working. Like my subdivision where I live is very new. All the construction workers are still working. They get here pretty early in the morning. These guys are troopers, man. Uh, Scott Rance. I have a 1991 Lagavulin Distillers Edition bottled in 2007, not opened it yet. Not opened it yet, but might have to before the virus gets me. <laughs> well, let's hope that doesn't happen, but you should open that bottle. I think you'll enjoy it. Bobby saying 1792 small batch is what he's drinking. Callum Feinerer saying, I managed to get some bottles of Ralphie's latest Berry Bros. Uh, Highland Park 2000 to 2018, cast number three. It was sold out before the video went live on YouTube. It's good to be a Patreon of Ralphie. Yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. Um, Eric White saying, non-virus effects on depression, fear, uh, paranoia, etc. We need to counteract the psycho psychological effects of the situation by spreading positivity. Greet everyone with a smile and wave. I agree. It's, it's scary. People are actually afraid to say hi to each other right now. Um, so we've been trying to listen to the government recommendations as much as possible. Um, we kind of have like an agenda where we'll take our kids out for a short time a day, just for like a walk around the block. We'll let them do most of their own walking, even though they're very small, two and four. Um, just a walk around the block. We don't stop at a park. We don't stop to have a chat with anybody, but we still make sure that they're respectful saying hello as we pass people, but some people don't even want to make eye contact, which is just scary what this virus is doing to people, but it is what it is. Scott is saying, I, I manufactured jet aircraft engine parts, still working, hopefully still in business on Monday. Yeah. Well, good luck, buddy. DHL is saying, so 
was I wrong to yell, she's got the virus when I saw a woman going into the grocery store with, with a mask on. Um, <laughs> the grocery stores in my area, there's like, I would say 20% of the people in there are wearing masks. So I don't know. And I don't know. I don't know. You weren't wrong. It was funny, but we can't find a rare saying, um, Eric, wait, I'll do that, but I don't leave the house. Catherine is saying, I had a quick chat with the UPS guy that delivered my dumbbells today. Nice. Catherine, have you been following along with my wife and I uh, working out on the Sixer kickboxing and fitness um, Instagram, or sorry, YouTube? <clears throat> Yesterday, my wife led the class. She did her high-intensity interval training, and she whooped my ass. That was a tough class. About halfway through, I was dying to say the least uh maybe a little bit more than halfway through but um yeah my shoulders are definitely sore today yeah so i'll put it on in the chat here below you guys can check it out if you want if you want free workouts it's make appearances on this one too so <laughs> So that's it right there. If you guys want to subscribe, feel free. If you guys want to follow along with the workouts, even better. Um, I can't wait till we can get back into the gym and hit some pads. That'll be fun. Catherine saying the boxes for the dumbbells were completely destroyed, so he was kind of laughing at me. All right. I wonder why that is. Maybe they weren't treated very well. But dumbbells are pretty resilient, so I don't think you have to worry too much about that. Eric Waite saying, how is the Highland Park Valfather? It's good. I gave it a, an 86. Uh, I think it was around the eight-minute mark that I marked this. I got to double check. I'll double check, and I'll put some timestamps in the chat below, in the description below, so that you guys can find out how I felt about this. Good stuff overall. Um, I like it, but it's very different than your like regular Highland Park. It, if someone gave me this in a blind, this would definitely stump me. So um, it's not your typical Highland Park. It's a good whiskey on its own, um, a little more peated than the regular Highland Park. So that might be something that would interest somebody. <clears throat> I'm wondering though, because because it's so peated, maybe it it's either they use obviously more peated casks or it could be a bit younger. That could also do that. But who knows? Um, I'm not sure, to be honest with you. <clears throat> All right. I do have a review coming out Monday. I will post that. I'm going to try to keep regular with my, with my uh, edited reviews and that sort of thing. I'll go live a little bit more frequently. I might go live again before Monday. Um, just trying to occupy the time, hopefully keep you guys somewhat entertained or give you guys at least a platform to entertain yourself in conversation with other whiskey fans. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, um, if you guys ever have any special requests, feel free to message me and I could try to accommodate. Like I said, I have quite a bit of time on my hands these days when the kids are napping or occupied uh so we'll see scott saying about father or the 10 year old i love Ardveg, so smoke is fine i would say that this is better than the 10 year old in my opinion especially because the abv is 47 percent but the price is much better on the 10 year old than this so it really depends what what uh your budget is and what you want to spend as far as like just Going liquid for liquid, this is better. So that's my opinion, though. <clears throat> uh, Catherine is saying, I saw on Twitter that people in Japan are having drinking chats on Zoom 
where anyone can join. I've never heard of that, but it sounds pretty cool. Um, McCallum Finerera saying, Ragnarok is coming next Highland Park expression. Yeah, that's not, I guess now would be the time for something like that. How old would it be? Would it be an expensive expression? I guess it would have to be at least 20 years old to like fit in with 2020, right? That would be cool though. Uh, Scott saying, delivering to store. Thanks for the uh, advice. Peter White's in the house saying, I am in one of those Zoom whiskey chats next week, I think. That's kind of cool. I've never even heard of that. Send me the link, Peter. Uh, YouTube is my last resort. It says, one of the best Highland Parks for the money was Dark Cove. Uh, how does it compare? Um, Dark Cove? Was it called Dark Cove? or um, If it's the one I'm thinking of that was also a noise statement, I really like that compared to this. I think that one was better. It's way more heavily sherried. This is a lot less sherried. Um, still very good, but I think I like the Dark Cove better. Was it called Dark Cove? I guess it was called Dark Cove. Um, yeah, I like the Dark Cove better for sure. Peter saying as soon as he it is confirmed, he'll figure out what to do. Um, <laughs> Dark Cove is Ardbeg. That's right. So it's the dark something. I know what he's talking about, though. Is it just called the dark? There's the 17 year old dark. There's the no age statement. What, what, what? Dark Origins. Dark Origins. That's it. Um, James Chen. Thank you, buddy. That's what it's called. Dark Origins. You're right. Yeah, it's Dark Origins. And the Dark Origins is be uh, better, in my opinion. It's. Almost as smoky, maybe, but definitely way more sherried. This is not as sherried. Um, I like the dark, dark old origins a lot, actually. So I would say that one's better. Uh, Highland Park, the the Highland, Eric Wade saying the Highland Park Valfather is not in the U.S. yet, and shipping with tariffs almost double the price. Yeah, it's not worth it to ship over just yet. Uh, you might as well wait. I don't think there's any rush to run out and get this one. It's good but it's not going to blow you away uh, unless you really want to experience a more peated Highland park. But like I said, good, but not going to blow you away. Um, Peter White saying, I think the last HP I bought was the full volume. I love the full volume. Um, YouTube is my last resort is saying, sorry, dark origin. Yeah. Dark origin is better than this for sure. In my opinion. Yeah, James is saying he still has his Dark Origin sitting on his shelf. You can still buy that, and it's still in and around the $80 to $100 mark. Um, definitely worth it. I like that one a lot. All right, guys. I think I'm going to end it there. Hopefully, you guys are doing well. Hopefully, you guys are occupying your time productively or at least enjoying your time at home. Um, hopefully... This all comes to an end soon via a cure or some sort of um, vaccine. We'll see. I wish you guys all the best. I hope you stay safe. I hope you stay healthy. Uh, thanks again, Eric, for that huge super chat. Really, really appreciate it, guys. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. And like I said, um, I'll be doing this more often. So whenever you guys get a chance, jump in, say hello. I'll look forward to seeing you guys. Take care, okay?